What's up guys, Landon with Late Model Restoration. This video will cover my review and install on 50 Restos hatch restoration kits fitting all 1981 to 1993 hatchback Mustangs. If you're in the market to replace the vital components of your 1981 to 1993 hatchback Mustang, then one of these kits from Industry Leader 50 Resto is for you. Each kit will include new hatch weather strip, a new hatch striker, and two new hatch lift supports. These kits are designed to fix common hatch problems such as leaks, annoying rattles, and worse than all, worn out hatch struts that have a tendency to knock you in the head when you least expect it. Each of the included components are manufactured with premium OE grade materials so they'll offer excellent fitment and years of durability. Now there are a few fitment notes to keep in mind. We offer three separate hatch resto kits for a reason. The spread from 1981 to 1993 utilized the same weather strip and hood struts. The only difference over the years were the hatch strikers. 1981 to 1986 cars had a specific striker. Cars built from 1987 to April of 91 had a specific striker. And then Mustangs built from May of 91 to the last car that rolled off the assembly line in 93 also had their own striker. Be mindful of that when you need to pick up one of these kits for your car. To get started, open the hatch and either have a buddy help hold it up or use some sort of prop to support it. Use a small flathead screwdriver to release the clip on the old strut to free it from the ball mount. Next, use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two screws securing the strut mount to the body of the car. Release the other clip to remove the strut from the body mount and throw the old strut in the trash. Clean the strut mount and run channel on the car. Reinstall the mount with the previously removed hardware. Take a new hatch strut and clip the plastic brackets over the ball mounts. Ensure the body of the strut is clipped into the ball mount located on the hatch itself. Go ahead and do the same for the other side. Next, remove the three screws securing the plastic trunk panel and then remove the panel. Before you remove the hatch striker, take a marker and trace the outline of the washer. This will help with realignment when you install the new one. Use a T45 torch bit to remove the old hatch striker. Thread the new one into place and then align it with the mark you made from the old one. Go ahead and tighten it down and make sure it latches. Open the hatch back up and remove the old weather strip. Take the new weather strip and start placing it over the pinch weld. I always start dead center in correlation with the hatch striker. Work your way around the entire pinch weld. Every eight to 10 inches, lightly tap the weather strip with a dead blow to make sure it is fully seated on the pinch weld. Make sure there are no wrinkles in the corners. Once you make your way around the entire hatch area, take some quality wire snips and cut the weather strip even with where you started. Place a small dab of weather strip adhesive around the seam where the two ends come together. Reinstall your panel and allow the adhesive time to dry. Once dry, shut the hatch and you're all finished. Installation should take you no more than 30 to 45 minutes from start to finish. I would recommend a helping hand from a friend to make things go absolutely effortless. Other than that guys, each of these kits will get your hatchback fox body in tip top shape again. To stay up to date with the best products for your fox body, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Be sure and pick up a hatch resto kit for your 1981 to 1993 fox mustang from LMR.com.